So I have a little break today, so I'm gonna do another video for you guys. Um, I was talking last night with a couple of my friends and this is something that I know, especially you girls are always concerned with and that's building glutes. You know, what's the best way to build your glutes and have a nice firm booty. So there are so many very inefficient glute exercises out there. Um, sometimes I put these things into your workouts because first off, I know you like them. I know girls love hip thrusts. I know you love glute kickbacks. So you're probably going to do them anyway, even if I don't put them into your workout. And also when you're just starting out, sometimes the other exercises that might be a little more beneficial for your glutes in the long run, you aren't quite ready to do yet. So doing those motions helps you just to gain some strength um, because you can't load up squats quite as heavy as you need to yet. Or uh, maybe you can't do uh, weighted lunges, you know, as much as you would need to. So we kind of do do a little more accessory work. But I will be completely honest with you. In all my years of bodybuilding, I have never done specific glute exercises. Like, I, I very rarely, sometimes I do, uh, like barbell hip thrusts. I don't do them all the time, though. I do not do glute kickbacks at all. I don't do the weird little things where you put a band around your leg and walk around and do all that crazy stuff. I don't do the ankle strap and do the kickbacks at all. And I got a big butt. I got really, really <laughs> good glutes. And I will tell you how I built them up. I built them up by squatting, squatting, hack squatting, barbell squatting, Smith machine squatting, split squatting, heavy lunge dips, walking lunges, um, even leg press. Those are the things that are going to build your glutes. You have to stop being afraid of weight. And I see girls do it all the time. Um, I see them doing, you know, uh, glute exercises with barely any resistance, barely any weight. And again, if you're just starting out and you can't do more than that right now, and that weight is heavy for you, that's all well and good. But then I'm seeing some girls doing it like almost just like, it's not even a struggle. It's not even a struggle to do it at all. You're just kind of going through the motions because you see other people doing those glute exercises and you think that's going to build your butt and it's not at all. Um, so when you start out doing this, obviously, when it comes to squats, a lot of people are scared of squats. A lot of people are scared of getting hurt with squats. Um, sometimes the amount of weight that you would need to squat and get something out of it Maybe you're not ready for that yet. It's going to, maybe it hurts your back. Maybe by the time you work up to a weight where you're really feeling it in your glutes, your lower back starts to hurt. So that's just something that you have to work on and get more comfortable with. And that's why there's other machines as well. That's why we have the hack squat. That's why we have a leg press, things like that, that you can load up with more weight. Don't be afraid of weight. You guys all see my legs. You see what they look like. You see the size of them. And when, when I talk about lifting heavy, for me, I'm putting nine, 10 plates on both sides of the leg press, four and five plates on both sides of the hack squat, doing split squats with 225 on the barbell. I mean, that is very heavy weight and this is all the bigger my legs are. So stop being afraid of getting huge legs and a huge butt because you start adding a little bit of weight because I guarantee you guys aren't going quite that heavy, which is fine. But don't be afraid to put another plate on there and start pushing a little bit more, pushing a little more weight. You're not going to get huge. Remember, food makes you big, not weights. You can lift as heavy as you want. You ain't going to get big if you're, if you're eating appropriately to the size that you want to be. So, and, and also, it takes a really long time to build that up. Um, I, I, it took me, my glutes were probably one of my weaker points um, because coming from dancing my entire life, I, I didn't do that much as far as squatting before I started bodybuilding. I, I, didn't, um, I didn't do crazy leg workouts when I was in high school because it inhibited me for dance and inhibited me for track. So I didn't want to get tight. So it took me a lot to build up my glutes when I was in my early 20s. I did crazy, crazy leg workouts. And I'm talking like to get comfortable with squatting, I would be doing like 10 sets of 10 to get to a good, uh, uh, you know, warm-ups to get to a good working weight, 15 sets of 10, just to get comfortable with squatting until I was able to really put some weight on the bar that I was actually getting something out of. And again, heavy is irrelevant. I don't care what your weight is, but it needs to be hard for you. And I see it. I see it here at the gym all the time. I see people squatting and it's not a struggle. They're coming up and finishing the set and it's pretty easy. Or maybe it's, oh, it's a little bit of a struggle. That's not heavy. That's not heavy for you. If you can easily get those reps that I have listed on your workouts or the whatever reps you're trying to get, it's not a heavy squat. It's not a heavy hack squat. It's not a heavy leg press. So push yourself a little bit more. And again, this is if you're injury free, 
if you're tr if you if you're trying to grow i mean don't you know if, if you're not at that point yet and you're not ready please don't hurt yourself doing this because i'm saying this but especially those of you that are my competitors i see you sometimes i see you using the weights that i have my like 65 year old clients doing and i'm like eh, you could probably do more than that because you should probably be a little stronger than somebody who's not even training for this so don't be scared of adding some weight onto your exercises even if you need to maybe take the reps down um from what i have just to get comfortable with it first. Um, Smith machine is always a great option. You can still get just as much out of it and you kind of feel a little bit safer maybe than a barbell squat. That's why most of your workouts, I do put um, an option of like Smith, Smith or barbell. So if you feel like you struggle to get control with the barbell squats, switch up and go to the Smith, that's okay. But don't be afraid of adding weight to it. Um, always, as, like I did before the video and going to depth, make sure you're going to full depth because that's gonna engage your glutes on the hack squat, especially, I just had a video um, that I put up on Instagram that um, Katie took of me last night when me and Connie were hack squatting. Get down there, get deep. That's gonna engage your glutes, not just your quads. Um, so check in with yourself, video yourself while you're doing your workouts. There's a reason for doing that. Most of the time, it's not just to show off the video on social media, it's to check and see what you're doing so you can view yourself doing it. Cause you can't always, you can't watch yourself when you're squatting and you're doing leg workouts. Um, make sure you're coming back really far in the leg press. Next time you go through a leg workout, I want you to try to add like 40 pounds to that exercise. Not the quad extensions and hamstring curls, that's, you know, those are more isolated. But if it's a Smith squat, a lunge dip, a split squat, a, a hack squat, a leg press, try to add some weight to it. And I guarantee you'll probably be totally okay with that weight. And you're gonna notice a huge difference rather than just trying to do like, you know, very inefficient glute exercises. So check in with your glute workouts. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to watch your form, send me over a video. We can check on that.